It's 5 a.m. It's going to be a long morning. Motivation zero, that's why we have discipline. currently watching Nick Bear and doing yoga and stretching because I had to stretch and stretch just stretch before running that much for that long that early I haven't woken up this early for a long run in so long when it's pitch black outside <sighs> yoga done eleven degrees Celsius I should have worn long pants but I get warm quickly, so that's my um, lifter, uplifter. No one's obviously up because it's literally 5.59 a.m. I mean, that's no one. There are cars, obviously, and I'm blind from the flash now. And I'm using the flash <laughs> to see where I have to walk. 1K done. Just 25K left. Hello. Just saw the other, another runner. I ran. Two and a half k and already sweating. <laughs> Ten k done. Three more till the halfway. It's finally bright, and finally I can see something. First win of the run, yeah, because I'm halfway there. It's not easy though. Uh, to be honest, it's getting hard. Half marathon check. Just five more k. Two k left. Last K! Last K! It's done. It's done and dusted. Probably to run, run to the toilet, if you know, you know. 15 minutes from the point when I came home from the run till I have to leave. Oh, so, eyebrows done, shower, toilet, clothes done. I'm definitely not late for the bus, definitely, definitely, no, 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 I'm making it, obviously, I will make it. What a nice traffic jam, and what a surprise, I made it. Just a little traffic -y. I'm already sleepy, so you know what that means. Sleeping in the plane. Sleeping, only sleeping. It's 9.20 and I can't wait to sleep in the airport. <laughs> Because I have to fly for four hours. I love Riga Airport. Two minutes security control. Coffee cup essentials. Two water bottles, of course. Now my bag is like a rock of two liters of water. As you understood, 1025 flights require a lot of movement. No, I mean, I just love being active because I know I'll be sitting for a long, long time. But I haven't been on a Ryanair flight, I think, for a year. There obviously is a reason why I try to stay away from them because if you know, you know. But the four hours surprisingly flew by pretty quickly and I was sitting by um, a guy, a father and a small daughter she was so funny she was like saying i will try to just translate it to english daddy my ears hurt they really really hurt and he was like try to yawn just try to yawn and she was like i really like flying and he was like you would like flying even more if you would sleep and when i arrived i was like whoa the heat i mean it's nothing compared to Bali or anything like that, but so nice to be in warm weather. And we got food and then we got smoothies. Awesome place. If you're ever in uh, Papos, highly recommend that place. So for the start of my weekish long trip, I'm staying in Papos which is one airport, not airport city, but one place where the airport planes land. And then for the second part of my trip, I'm staying in the mid-island and just exploring the other side. My first day was 
just arriving because I arrived after 2 p.m. and when I, we checked in, then went to food, it was like late, and then in the evening we went to Quick Little Shop. The vegan options there were not really existent. I did get two vegan things, but we just got some. I just got some snacks for myself because I love snacking. And the tradition that I did the whole time I was in Cyprus, 7 a.m., 10k runs every morning. This morning, I was an all-time high. My energy levels were so high. Yeah, you'll be like, you literally, the previous day, you ran 26k. But the thing is, I've really adapted my body, and I felt like I've done nothing. Because literally, that 26k was at 5 a.m., and the whole day, rest of the day, I didn't really put any pressure on my body. In that evening, I actually couldn't fall, couldn't fall asleep because I really wanted to move. And so that, in the next morning, the run felt absolutely awesome. Like, 10 out of 10. A beautiful to run here. Like, by the beach. The 10k, you don't even feel it, okay? There are hills, yeah. But it's so pretty. Waking up at 7, before 7. I slept quite bad because I had so much energy because I didn't go to the gym yesterday. Even though, yeah, you saw I ran 26k, but that wasn't at 6 a.m. Run is check, now morning swim. It's after 8 a.m. So nice to run. So nice, sweaty, nice. Now I have some time till we go and go to the gym, like three hours. Like after 12 to the gym, gonna change quickly. We're staying around 8K from the center of Papos. And so it's like nice, not that like busy, not that many people, not that many cats. It's more chill like villas and all that, so. One thing you have to keep in mind that most of the beaches in Cyprus are really rocky. So getting into the water can be really tricky because they're really rocky. But here's a quick, not room tour, but apartments, no, but Airbnb house villa tour nothing crazy just a kitchen it was funny when we first walked in it looks like are we in a cage in the way that the everything was like so dark because they have not just curtains not just blinds but something else it's like pitch black but also i get it so the sun the heat wouldn't get in okay when you turn off the light it's not that crazy and we also had like a patio i think i went outside once <laughs> but after you get up there were actually three rooms this was my room messy casual nothing crazy had an ac also one thing to keep in mind they have uk plugs so bring an adapter buy an adapter otherwise charging i mean obviously you can go to a store but it just that takes a time out of your day and the ac was in a good spot so it wasn't like blowing in my face when i was sleeping at night there was also a balcony i think i never went on it <laughs> because it's just like so hot outside that i'm good in my cool room anyways then there's a toilet then another room that looked the same and then there also was another room which we never used we used it as storage a little bit <laughs> that's about it that's the mini villa tour and Afterwards, I stretched, I a little bit like chilled, I had so much energy, and uh, I hit legs, did not film that. I filmed this, how the guy was doing the workout super quickly. Afterwards, I copied his workout. I did uh, two CrossFit workouts and a leg day <laughs> in the gym, that CrossFit box. 30 degrees Celsius, no AC. But I ended up, uh, I think, four days spending there. I somehow survived that everything is dripping, you're using billion tissues. No, I mean CrossFit and gym. This is the changing room here. So it's a room with shower. And and thing is, there is a window and there's nothing. And you, people are walking in here, you're literally showering. Showering. I was like, <laughs> but I've been here for three hours now. It's currently yeah, almost 4 p.m. I have not ate anything, so I'm going to break my fast with probably something nice. Um, did three hours, I did two workouts, and I did legs beforehand. Uh, yep, 
now I finally have released energy. I still have energy, but I feel like I would need to wait like two hours and then train again. Because I'm the thing that person, I train a lot, and for me, like training three hours is like nothing a day. So yeah, I'm going to walk to meet a friend, and we're gonna probably get something to eat. Not probably, we will get something to eat. And the thing is here, a lot of places open at only at like five. So they're like dinner spots. So it's especially like vegan places and it's holidays now. So one amazing vegan spot is closed in holidays. And the thing is, if you're coming to Cyprus, they have a lot of holidays, like really often, a lot of holidays, just to remember that. I don't know, it really reminds me of like Turkey or, yeah, kind of like Crete or, it's so like, everything is in Greek, but it's not Greece. It really reminds me of Turkey. Oh. Also, like the cars are quite a uh, like qu Turkey I, again feels like Turkey. I have been here for like six hours on a layover, as I said previously, maybe. But if you ever come here, you definitely need to rent a car, and you have to be a really confident driver because they drive on the other side of the road. But like, car is a must-have here. Otherwise, I mean, you can, yeah, but like hiking and, you know, any island, it's better to have a car because like island places, they have a lot of like jeeps here with like big wheels or like quite old cars also. They're so pretty, like, it's so cute with so many cute restaurants and uh, just like shops. So nice. I like it. It's like, it reminds me, I don't know which city, but it's so nice here. I got another smoothie with plant-based protein. It was really good, even better than the day before, because I said you didn't crush the ice properly the day before, so this time they did it so, so, properly. So, so sad about the trash, like seriously, but it was so good. Place their car park. I am vegan, and whenever I travel somewhere, I just find places, I save them, and I go there. This place had quite a lot of vegan options and I got something. I don't remember it was in the bread and also vegan pancakes. I've never seen anyone serving vegan pancakes like that. The chocolate, they melted the dark chocolate that was already in the packaging. Currently looking super nice. We're planning what we're gonna do this weekend. I feel so good after showering. It was already in the packaging and I felt like that was the cheapest chocolate but it was melted and then he poured it over the pancakes from that packaging straight away. So yeah, it was interesting. I don't know, but no, the pancakes were awesome. The food, I really liked it. I really, really liked it. It was already sunset time and most of the parking spots, if they aren't for free, you have to pay around one to three euros. So it's not expensive at all. For literally 90 minutes, by the beach it was one euro so it's nothing crazy and this beach this promenade was already by the center almost in the center so there were more people and more cats a lot more cats the sunset was amazing as well i did not swim there because i didn't have the swimsuit with me so that's fine that's totally fine I just sat there and like literally was thinking about, wow, what is life? I can't believe I'm there. I can't believe I'm in warm weather. I can't believe what's happening with my life. How grateful I am for life. And just like when you're by the water, you start to just, you get, you get to that meditative state, that more in the moment state feeling. And afterwards we drove home and we decided to go for sunset. No, but pitch black, dark, swim. It was pitch black, did not feel anything, and uh, afterwards I got got get my snacks, ate more, and just enjoyed my second day in Cyprus. This has been an awesome day, a long day, it's almost half 11, I have to go to bed. I saw angel numbers again, which is 22, 22. I literally see them every day, it's like 11, 11, 1, 1, 1, like so many angel numbers, 5, 5, 5, whatever. But uh, night swim, where the rocks are. <laughs> 
like it's pitch black and you're trying to get in the water when there are so many rocks <laughs> it's crazy a little bit late and just ate a lot of food actually even though i started eating it only like after four i ate a lot but nice nice good food and uh, just like an awesome day just like chilling training beach beach run sunset watch just casual day tomorrow is going to be more like exploring also so see you in the next vlog currently i'm signing off and being grateful for life because opportunities are crazy you know i'm here just and just like coaching a little bit late and living in a forever chasing sunsets and warm weather and just i don't know life is weird like ah uh, this year i've got so many opportunities and they're just coming to me and it's like it can't sounds maybe so cliche or oh you wish but like i've i've been through a lot of my life and i passed me like me a few years ago with i don't know i would i me then a few years ago was in a really bad place and literally i know it sounds so cliche but when your mindset changes when you're in more peace with life just the universe gives you so much and it sounds so cliche and who am i to say that but seriously this year i've gotten so, got so many opportunities and they have just came to me and i literally know that absolutely everything happens for a reason you meet people or you lose things or something doesn't go right because it's meant to be like that and yeah be grateful and bye Why is getting colder when the sun comes